Hello, and welcome back to Page Tropolis. This is Page Tropolis. Um, I'm, I'm, oh, I had some revelations about the way food now works. Been away too long. Um, so what I think is going on here is no matter how many of their turns the kitties use, um, each kitty including a newborn, will eat one food point per day when I pass the day with this with that button. So if I have eight members in my pack, then that means when I pass the day, my food will go down by eight points. So maybe I need to stop breathing like crazy? Is, is, that, <laughs> is that my takeaway? I should just move them as much as I want during the day you know, this does this changes the game a lot because before you kind of had to really be careful about how efficient you were with with the turns. Like you shouldn't do any unnecessary moving around because that would waste food. But now that doesn't seem to be an issue at all anymore. You can move them around as much as you want, and it makes no difference as far as the food is concerned. Because no matter what, they're all just gonna have one piece of food at the end of the day. This really changes the way I think you need to play this game. And I think I maybe should stop breeding now. Because before I could just breed like crazy and have all of my kitties just clustered around. And as long as most of them didn't move, I could keep up a really big bank of food. But now it doesn't matter whether they move or not, they'll still, t they'll still eat, which is, you know, obviously more realistic but at the same time, it, I have to completely change the way I think and, and play this game, think about this game. Um, okay, well, this does give me a lot more freedom during the day to just move, I can move, I can do whatever. It doesn't really matter because I'm not, move, I'm not taking up the food points by doing so. Um, I guess, let's see. Well, should I be exploring then? I haven't had any wanderers come in, so maybe that's not a thing. At least not on this beginning island, or maybe it is a thing, but I have to explore more to find them. There's also been no predators, so maybe at the beginning island they put it on sort of like an easier mode and they don't give you the predators or the carnivores that might come and hurt you. Uh, I mean, you must be able to get hurt or this wouldn't this wouldn't be here. This normal blood clotting thing. There must be something that can give us wounds. <laughs> Which I don't know if I want to meet that anytime soon. Um, well, if I'm not worrying about breeding again because of the way the food is looking, then I guess I should be exploring. I guess? <laughs> Hello, little one. You're just looking around like, what do I do? What do I do? Well, La Reme, La Reme, you have got quite good distance you can travel. Yeah, four, four is decent. Um, well, well, <laughs> I don't know what to do with anyone. Um, I'll, uh, here, go right there. That's where you're going to go. And we have eight, so this should go down by eight if my theory is correct. Once again, full disclosure, full disclosure, Paige is not good at math, but I'm pretty sure that it did indeed go down by eight just there. Just then. Just there and just then. So, it seems to be that is how things work now. So, I still need to be thinking about collecting food in relation to how big my tribe is. So, the bigger my tribe is, the more food sources I need to have. So in some ways, I think about food less, but in other ways, I think about it more. I guess I just think about food differently now. So I need to find more food sources and I need to... Um, I wonder why we're not getting any wanderers. Is that just because I haven't explored enough? Is that because we don't get wanderers anymore? Ooh, ooh. Or we don't get wanderers at this stage? Bush. Berry bush. Okay. Another food source. 
Well, I mean, if I don't find any more wanderers, or I guess if I don't find new wanderers soon. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about a million things right now because I'm so excited and just trying to figure out everything. Ooh, another bush. Bush here, bush here. And these two look really similar too. These are the bush finders. They've got the webbed feet. The webbed feet kitties are the bush finders. Um, I know I didn't finish my thought. Darn it. What was I saying? Oh, I think I was just saying that if I don't find any wanderers soon, then I have to breed the siblings? <laughs> like, there's no way around it? Is that, is that what I'm getting from this? Like, there's just gonna be more sibling breeding happening? <laughs> well, that answers one question. We definitely have carnivores in this stage in this island. Okay, so Adam, give the uh, give this thing, this carnivore, what for? That was good. That was that was good. That was good. I don't want this little, little, little babby over there. I'm gonna move the babby over there. Uh, eat, Ebe, Ebe. You come over here. And, oh man, we're really close. Can, can, well, she's only gonna get one in. Is that gonna be enough? She's got, she only has one, but he's pretty close. Okay, I hope this is enough. Where, where, okay. Whew. Okay. Okay, so I wonder if the, these meats that you get from killing the carnivores, if they still are 10 points of food? I've got 12 food and I've got eight pack members, so I need to collect some food to make sure that nobody starves. I don't know how this works. Can I click on this? A. Oh my, oh my goodness. I don't know which is number one priority because <laughs> I don't know what, which is alpha. Wait, come on. That's gotta be alpha, right? It's an A. And then this is omega and that's beta. I hope that's correct. So everybody just starts on beta. Hmm. What if I don't indicate a preference? Does it just randomly decide who doesn't get to eat? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um, oh my goodness. Dear viewer, I... I just... Sensory overload. I'm overwhelmed right now. It doesn't take much. <laughs> it doesn't take much to overwhelm Paige. Clearly. You're just looking around like, what do I do now? Here, sit on there. Maybe you can get bunnies if they come again. And there's a shell over here. But I'm going to assume with the shell you need to have uh, nimble fingers, I guess. Because cracking? Ooh, because cracking? That's maybe what you need to open the shell? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Okay, nobody can move. So that means <laughs> it's time to go to the next day. Uh, okay, right. Righto, righto. All right, let's see how many food points we get. Is it still 10? <laughs> it still goes up just as slowly. It's still 10. Okay, so some things have remained the same. Thank goodness, because it's far too easy to overwhelm Paige, as we found out. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. So everybody just do whatever you want, because this, this doesn't cost food anymore. It's such a weird feeling. This doesn't cost food anymore. I can't accidentally starve you guys. Well, I'm sure I can, but not by moving you. Um, should should you have another kid? I don't know. Should they keep on breeding? How old are you? How old are you, Eve? <laughs> she was already selected. I'm so excited. Um, sure. I'm so reckless. Just just have another kid. Mating with wild abandon. Um, um, it used to be if it's dark, predators can come. I don't know if that's still a thing or not. Okay, okay. Oh, what was I gonna do? Was I gonna say something? Was I gonna do something? I'm gonna collect some food. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, a dom. You can only kick, pick one at a time. <gasps> something going on up here. Is it a bunny? Is it a predator? Could it be our first wanderer? 
could send you, but you're not gonna get up there with your one turn, so we'll just go to the next day. Okay, wait. I'm gonna have nine. Nine's on the way, so this should go down by nine. It should go down by nine. It did. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay. What is this? What is this? Should I send Adam? Adam's got poison, at least, but he's... When he gets there, he's only gonna have one turn left. Oh, Adam. Okay, I ran you up there for nothing, because I guess it was just a bunny. Whatever. Um, I guess what we should actually be doing is making our way towards the nest. Actually, that makes the most sense. Okay, wait. Okay, we're gonna have enough food for another night, another day. I don't know how to... Another transition. Another transition. Um, here, if I pick that berry. If I want you to have another kid... No, I don't think you're gonna have time. Ooh, 22 days old. Oh, that's cool. It gives you more information about how much time they have left. Well, that's very useful. Let's see. If I move, if I get you pregnant, no, you won't have enough time because I have to get you pregnant next turn. And the way it used to work was if you died on that next day, you didn't, you died before you gave birth. I don't know if I explained that in any way that made any sense, but <laughs> it made sense in my mind. I don't- I, I have to assume it's still that way, so I don't think there's enough time for you to have any more kids. I'm just gonna operate under that assumption, and I'm just gonna push towards this nest with you. If that's alright. Of course it is. Um... Uh, there's nothing over here. I love you so much, Rita. I want you to have babies, because you have a platypus face. PLATYPUS FACE! Oh my god, it's so adorable. Um... Rita? 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 Who are you going to have babies with? Let's assume that it's going to be one of your brothers. You have A and G. So let's take a look. A and F. B and F. Okay. Okay, you can have babies with, um, with Nerdo. B and F and A and G. Can you have babies with anyone else? Uh, well, that's your dad. Let's, let's try to avoid that. Okay, B and F, you have... Okay, you could have babies with him too, but he's not old enough. Okay, I'm thinking it's gonna be Neuro then. Yeah, okay, it's gonna be Neuro, because that's the healthiest match. And then... Okay, so Neuro, Neuro, I was like, oh, Paige, Paige just can't calm down. Okay, I can't stop referring to herself in the third person, apparently. Okay, uh, hey, let's have... You also push towards the... Well, I'll have you explore and also kind of like loop back around, I guess. Because I have to get rid of the grass. I have to. It just... It has to be gotten rid of. I feel like my mom, like... Not that my mom plays video games, but like in real life, she's always like obsessive about making sure the grass is trimmed and nice looking. And I feel like I have become her. Because I'm like, I must get rid of all of the grass. But that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, Dada, you're gonna have, hopefully, another platypus-faced child. And I can just ooh and ah over that child as well. And, oops, let's go up here. And then you look at that. You go over there. Oh, a bunny. Let's get the bunny. Is it three? It is three. Okay, so it's still three. That stuff's all the same. Okay, we're gonna explore there, and we're gonna... Oh, another bush. Yay! We'll just find all the bushes. Get rid of all of the grass. The grass must die. <laughs> I have a problem. I just can't stand there to be grass. Okay, Rera is gonna have another platypus child, I hope. And then... I actually need to find more food, because then I'm gonna start to have quite a large number of kitties. Oh, it wasn't a platypus child. I mean, it's still lovely. It's got it in the recessive, though. It's still lovely. Okay, wait, what's what's going on in here? Oh, we got a claw paw, and we got yellow eyes. Okay, well, I wonder if I should put the, the beak in here. <laughs> like, it's not strategic in any way. I just want to look at them because they're so cute when they have the beaks. Oh, 
when the veneer wears off, I'm sure I'll get back to <laughs> doing this strategically. But for right now, I'm just like, <gasps> oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh my gosh. I've never seen a wanderer run away before. It's scared of us. Don't be afraid. We're friendly. We just want to love you. Although, if it came into our pack, that would be more food that would be taken up. Well, even so, I'm excited about having a wanderer join us. What was I going to say? I got interrupted because I saw a little, a little brown thing run away from us. I think I was just saying, like, I don't remember. <laughs> That's terrible. It's terrible. I can't remember. Um, what was I saying? Okay. Well, you know what? This episode's go gone on a bit long. Next episode, we're going to keep going that way and hopefully find that little, the little guy or lass or whatever that ran away from us. And we also maybe get some duck build children. Oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> hopefully when the veneer of this awesome new updates and the platypus face wears off, I'll get back to like learning and strategizing and etc. But for right now, I just want more platypuses. I want more platypi kitties. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here and I will see you next time. <laughs>